What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I did check out John Moxley return to AEW man after his hiatus, and I must say that promo segment, the crowd, the energy that was felt in that arena was beautiful to see, man. Um, it's just it's always good to be able to come back after dealing with what he was dealing with to come back stronger and to see the fans give that positive reaction was oh so great i really wish i could react to like clips and stuff of aew content on youtube but um as i was searching to see if anyone else had reacted to it they people were reacting to it but they weren't showing the actual footage because uh yeah, I'm pretty sure AEW will probably block the video, so, or potentially, not AEW, but like TNT or whatever, they may strike the videos, so I'm not sure, hopefully at some point, I can bring that to you guys, because I would love for you guys to see it in real time, but I did check out the segment, and um, it was great, it was it was just, it was good to see, man, like, I was starting to get goosebumps from what he was saying and how he was feeling and the way he was describing his demons man i also like the fact that somebody someone was being an asshole in the crowd before he started his promo and he basically told him shut the f off him and you know pretty much get him out of there and you know get security to get him out of there i like that that's cool you know what i'm saying someone trying to ruin a, a special moment like that get him out of there bro but uh this was just it was just powerful him relating his demons as a dark cloud that's over him basically telling him yo you know what i'm saying you you thought you was gonna just go through life unscathed you don't deserve this life you you live right now you don't deserve that let me mess it up for you you let me let me bring you back to reality and i love that i love that comparison because dealing with any type of addiction alcohol drugs doesn't matter man it can really bring you down. It can mess you up, especially when it comes to alcohol. That, that can truly mess up your mental state, mess up how you operate around other people, the people that you love. And I'm glad that he was able to be aware of that situation and handle it and take care of it like a man. You know what I'm saying? I love that, bro. That is what we need to see. And you definitely need to see it in wrestling because what we us fans tend to not realize these wrestlers go through a lot. They deal with a lot of pain on a weekly basis. And we've seen it in the past how people would literally get hung, like hooked on drugs and liquor just to, to numb the pain. This has been documented. And I'm sure Moxley has been a part of that. But for him to overcome that was a beautiful moment. If you haven't seen that promo, it's on YouTube right now. Go check it out. Go watch it. You will truly enjoy it. And if it doesn't inspire you to overcome your demons, I don't know what else will. This is something that we needed to see in pro wrestling. And this is something we just needed to see as people, man. We all go through things. And sometimes your demons aren't actually physical things. Sometimes they can be in your head. Your thoughts can be your worst enemy, man. And I just wanted to make a quick video. I didn't want to prolong this. I just wanted to put this out there. For anyone who hasn't seen that that promo, very, very, very good promo, very heartfelt. Go check it out. You will not regret it. And it's good to see John Moxley back because I am interested to see who he feuds with. I know he was making a mention. I've been through hell, you know, with my demons. There ain't nothing in, that any of y'all can do in the back that would you know what I'm saying, that will scare me, you know, because I've been through it, there's no amount of pain in hell y'all can give me that I haven't been through, and he's putting everybody on notice, bro, I'm here to, to just beat, I'm here to beat some ass, I'm here to, I'm here to whoop up on some people, and I'm, I'm all for it, so I can't wait to see the potential feuds, can you think Brian Danielson and, and John Moxley feuding at some point one day, or CM Punk, Bro, I'm, sign me up. Sign me up, man. So, check out the promo if you haven't. And if you have checked out the promo, what did you think? Did it did it inspire you? Did it put a smile on your face? Did it give you goosebumps? What did you think of that promo that John Moxley delivered? I thought it was amazing. And it was a perfect way for him to come back 
at the start of 2022 and i'm ready for him to wreck shop and cause as much chaos but i appreciate all the love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace